So there we go, getting into it with some Elder Scrolls Online. We're gonna take a look at what is a delve. Just finished the Oblivion little vent quest or whatever it was, and then just opening a map here. Go to the uh, legend, open the legend up, and then like what what was this area that I went to? Is a delve. So if we go to uh, close that, open the zone guide here. All right, hold this for the zone guide and read what these are. Way shrines is a delve. Delves are soloable dungeons found throughout the world. Delves will always contain a single sky shard and a boss who drops item set gear. Well, we ended up going there. Might as well check it out. Let's do our first delve. Let's dive in. Dungeon delving. Start the zone story. Now we're going to close that. We're right here on the map in Blackwood. What is a delve? So we're gonna look at our first, we're gonna do our first delve right here. We had to run in there for the Oblivion event quest and then we just, right by the entrance and then left. But we're gonna, Arpina Delve. Explorers often hear coin and crackling, coin and cackling. Explorers often hear coin and cackling from deep within the elite ruins of Arpenia. It could be a murder of crows or perhaps something even stranger. What is Delve? We're going to dive into the Arpina Delve. It's located in Blackwood region. And this will be our first Delve. So let's go see how it is. So this will be our first time through here. We're, uh, we just got level 11 from completing that little Oblivion quest. So I guess we're gonna just head through here and see what we get. It's like a soloable dungeon, I guess. Here we got some enemies. We just start killing everybody, right? Oh, well, we're not attacking for some reason. Okay, now we are. Alright, just I'll back it back to it here. And look at that, um, I guess it's uh, supposedly going to get harder as we level up. I don't know, I'm hoping it does, because holy cow, our health bar doesn't move at all. We'll just continue on. Oh, it's a little lurker guy. Look out. Uh, I guess it's from uh, Templar. All defensive and health bonuses, I guess. My health shouldn't be dropping, right? So I just use a couple skills we got. We just picked all the sword and board techniques here. We don't really have to dodge any of uh, these abilities because they just don't do anything. But obviously, it's uh, getting you into the game. So here we go. What do we got in here? All we know is there's a boss here, so where do we go? We don't know. It just says it's a soluble dungeon, so what do we do? I guess we're gonna just skip. We don't have to kill everything, we're just gonna run through. Well, maybe we do. This guy wants to kill us. So. Let's show him what's up. Uh, use this based off our health. We get like a little shield. And I've been picking the health every time I level up. I guess uh, I'd be doing more damage with the magicka or stamina or whatever, but for whatever reason, we've just been picking health. Well, I wanted to kill the other guy first, but whatever. Yeah, you'd have to be worried about like, blocking. Oh no, block. Use my power attack. Keep going, all right. So we're just working our way through the delve. Enemies are power attack and finish them off. Just shield. Nothing to worry about. Let's see here. Let's just get them. Ah! 
I guess I'd prefer if you just hit like a regular kind of auto attack instead of uh, uh, every hit pushing the button. I mean, if you play like all day, you gotta hit the button, hit the button, hit the button, hit the button. I don't know, it seems like kind of a little bit of excess in this there. You know, already hitting every ability every 10 seconds anyway. Three abilities every 10 seconds plus every hit. I don't know, a lot of it. Uh, you don't have to worry about playing efficient or anything. Look at this guy's already dead. We didn't even touch him, but there he is. It's because uh, our second ability was like morphed or something, I guess. Started off as a single target, and then now it does a little more damage, and so it kind of turned into an AoE. So our skills upgrade as you go. Not sure where we're headed, but there we go. We're headed this way. Are we going to go this way? This way? We don't know. To, to be determined here. Oh, it's a soluble dungeon, but we got other people in here, so that's cool. Whoops. We'll just help his companion out of this. Get rid of this guy. So once we get to the end to kill the boss, it's going to be dead because this other dude's going to kill him. Oh, man. Mr. Grab something over here. Oh, you got this guy, whatever. We missed the loot. We didn't get the loot. Not sure what's going on there. He's praying that he lives, but he won't. Yep, and then we can see what we get. Some kind of, some kind of equipment there we got, right? Let's go to our inventory. Where are we at here? Slottable items. Oh, it's. We haven't even bothered eating food or any of that because we haven't really needed to. Thought we got uh, something else. I guess we can go to this chain. Oh, it's heavy, whatever. We'll lose a little bit of health there, but look at that. We're going to gain some more. Resistance, so we'll just equip that. Why not? And oh, it looks cooler, right? Looks a little cooler. Come for these guys. These guys doing? I guess we should stop their little summoning spell. Where'd he go? There he is. And we got one behind us too. Let's search them. Gotta loot them. Thought I just killed these guys. They're back. That's what they're doing. They're summoning more. After us here now. Search the body. Alright, so we just kill him with the power attack. Or not. One more hit. And we get some experience points and some gold. Oh, something else from behind this, this guy. 
Oh, is that the boss, sir? Wrath of Crows. Get this guy. Kill him. Search the body. Yeah, we got a pewter ring. Some ectoplasm. Alright, so that was that guy. I don't think it's the boss, because, right? Look out, we got some traps coming up. We said, look out. We may die. We won't die. Because we'll heal our health back up really quick anyway. Look at that. Just got chopped in half almost by this big, big uh, weapon. Alright, so look at that. They just ignore us. What's down below? Oh, I guess we gotta kill what's above first. Where's he at? He got us. And hit him with the big attack. There we go. He also shield bash him. Right, so do we try to dodge him? Doesn't matter. We don't care. Doesn't matter. Dodge him. Whispering Judge. I should have picked up the other AoE skill at the start too, because it looked like. I only had the one ability. But now we got this one does the AoE. There they both got hit. And then we got a shield. And it searched the body, we got EXP and gold. Alright, that's the way we're headed to. Looks like we got a sky shard here also. That was one of the rewards. Get the sky shard and the boss. Yes, eventually maybe we'll have to dodge some of the red, but you know, it's like whatever. Just keep going, keep attacking. Look away. I'm sure you have like three, four more mobs hitting you. Well, hey, hey, then they'll get me. But we'll see. So I'll just get the Spider Queen here, Spider Deja. She's guarding the Sky Shard, so we'll beat her. We don't need to dodge. It's like something's there to attack. Alright, and there's one of our rewards, Sky Shard. That'll give us a skill point. Two out of three of them. I guess for every three you get the skill point. So that's what's below that way. You can jump down, but probably other ones over here where we didn't go yet, right? So we probably missed that one. So let's go get that. You can like block. Hold on, do it again. Block. Come on, do it. Block and then block. He's supposed to be stunned and then you hit him with the attack, right? Alright, search the body. We got EXP and gold. So far, a little better than a starter here, but I guess that's just because there's two at once here now. But still, our health doesn't drop.
break free. This guy. Oh, this is also a, like a little damage shield, then also it like, kind of reflected one spell back. So it shields damages and does damage. spider eggs which you're gonna just throw away anyway because I haven't bothered to do any kind of crafting stuff. I guess you're supposed to do crafting it's required or something, I don't know. Which is like a little mini boss thing, but uh, I guess it wasn't such as guard in the sky shard. Apparently not. Right, where'd that one go? The body, there's nothing to loot. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. Huh? End up right back where we're at. I guess that was just lower level. This is where we needed to go up here. We've gone the wrong way. There's a sprint back. That way, once we end up having to actually fight, we're going to use all our stamina and we won't be able to do anything. Oh no. But we're gonna have to get back up there. So have to go around this way. Sprint again. Sprint. Whoa, look out. Dodge it. Dodge your stuff. Alright, so we're gonna head this way towards the pool. That everybody's running around all over. We're just gonna run through. Uh oh, no, I guess we can't. They're all after us now. Oh, hey, do one hit and then they run off. Turn it away. Where's this guy? Come on. Oh, it's a trap. He, he tricked me. We almost died, we'll have to heal up there, so whew, we're near death. It may take us a few hours to rest up back to full, but there we go. This is looking a little better because before it was about two seconds and we were full. So now we got uh, maybe 10 seconds till we're full. 
One, two, three. All right, so we'll just continue on and head this way back to this little area. I think that guy would have went after me. All right, straight through to these. Search the body. Got EXP and gold. And heavy hitter. Better just not. So we'll see here what's at the end this way. Got this other characters after that. Oh. Alright, so it's the big boss guy, I guess. We made it. Made it to the boss. What's he doing? What's going on? What could it be? Three whispering talons. Oh no. Now when I go to fight him, it's gonna be pissed because I killed him. But there you go. We'll just Watch the battle. Oh, the little orb Watch thing disappeared. Shadows will claim you. And there's your boss. Do we help out? I don't know, we'll just hit him, I guess. Break free from the crowd control, I don't know. It's like, does everybody get credit or something on it? Or how does it work? Or if I like do too much damage, do I kill still? I'm not sure. Yeah, we got little wolves running around. There's the boss. Break free from the crowd control. Is there a shield? Hit this guy. Shadow Knight Massive. Alright, so. Where we search it, we got a soul gem, rawhide pelt, some other stuff, some sabatons, a girdle. We got the girdle. Alright, so that'd be the boss guy right there, huh? And then you head through, back through. This way, up this way. And maybe we'll find another sky shard. I guess there's, yeah, you get the one and then, I guess for every three overall, then you get a skill point. There's just one in here. And drop down the hole and head back out the door. Back to the beginning. This is right where that guy was for the Oblivion event quest thing. So there we go. I guess we've just done our first little delve and then we head back out to Blackwood. How is it as a new player? We're level 11. So there we go. There's our character been picking health every time we're up to 27,000 and we're only a level 11 oh my gosh and we got 14,000 resistance and all that we'll see how it is I believe your equipment and all that is like everything just scales up so it's like uh, you're getting the maximum bonus when you're lower but then as you're level rises if you're not wearing the proper equipment for that level then you start getting weaker so it's kind of like it'll get harder as we level up we shall see as we continue through elder scrolls but there's this right there and then we got the credit one of six open the open the zone guide and there we go there we just did our first delve arpina explorer explore and clear all six explorable caves in blackwood all right, so see you in the next Elder Scrolls video. <laughs>